Alzheimer's impacts half of all black families. HSC is investing in a new research study to find out why. To join, please visit blackalzbrainstudy.com or call 817-735-2963. It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know, and today is Friday, March 19, 2021. Number one, Robert Aaron Long has been charged with eight counts of murder in the Tuesday night mass shooting at three Atlanta area spas. The shootings took place during a recent wave of attacks against Asian Americans that coincided with the spread of the coronavirus across the U.S. While the investigation continues into Robert Long and the motivation behind the shootings, questions should also be asked of Captain J. Baker, who said of Long yesterday was a really bad day for him. Maybe a bad day, Captain, but no more days ever for the eight murder victims. Number two, an armed man was arrested Wednesday by members of the Secret Service near the official residence of Vice President Kamala Harris. 31-year-old Paul Murray was charged with various crimes, including carrying a dangerous weapon and possession of a large capacity ammunition feeding device. Neither Vice President Harris nor her husband were at the home at the time of the arrest. Number three, a group of Democratic lawmakers are calling on the Department of Justice to conduct an investigation into coronavirus-related deaths among inmates and staffers at the Federal Bureau of Prisons. More than 20 Democratic lawmakers, including Elizabeth Warren, sent a letter to the Office of the Inspector General inquiring whether inmates who died received timely and sufficient care for COVID-19. More than 2,400 prisoners and at least 193 staff members in jails and prisons nationwide have died from coronavirus. Number four, Plano Independent School District announced that it has completed its investigation into the early March reports of bullying of Samarian Humphrey, a young black boy who was a student at a Texas middle school. Samarian's mother made a public Facebook post with videos detailing how her son was attacked physically, called racial slurs, and forced to drink urine. Plano police are still investigating, and family attorney Kim Cole says there will be a lawsuit. Number five, for decades, black radio has been the vehicle through which many legends were made. One of those legends is Sheila Eldridge. Read more about the radio trailblazer and creator of the Salute Her Awards in today's Black Business Spotlight. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Life is a series of choices. Choose therapy. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the University of North Texas Health Science Center at Fort Worth. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.